welcome to Recipes Tested. I'm Brianna Robinson and today I'm going to be making pizzelles. And it's pronounced pizzelles, kind of like how you say pizza. I love you too. It's basically the first part of pizza with L at the end, so it's pizzelles. And I got the recipe from Pinterest from shutterbean.com and the link will be down in the description below. So if you want to see how this recipe turns out, just keep watching and I'll get testing. So I first got going by adding three eggs into a large bowl and then added in my sugar and mix that all together until the sugar granules kind of went away. And then slowly added in melted butter just so it wouldn't curdle anything and once that was all kind of emulsified, I went and moved on to my next step which was adding in my flavor so I added in my vanilla extract and then my almond extract and mix that in together. And then next I sifted in my flour and my leavening agent. And once that was done, I just mixed everything together. And this is a very wet dough. And by the way, this is not a dough that you can freeze. So once you make it, you kind of got to use it all while you, when it's all fresh. But once that was all combined, I just got my pizzelle maker and started making them. And mine makes two pizzelles and they take about 30 to 45 seconds to make but once I take them off they're still kind of soft so I put them on a wire rack to harden and then I just repeated this process until I ran out of dough. All right so I'm all finished with the pizzelles and they have cooled enough to eat so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste and let you know if it's love at first bite. Love you too. Mm. The easiest way that I can describe these is like an almond flavored waffle cone. They are not overly powerful of an almond flavor, which I really appreciate because as I was baking it, the almond flavor kind of smelt a little, what's the word, like fake? I, I'm not sure, but it was a little overpowering when it was cooking, so I wasn't sure if it was going to be an overpowering flavor in the, in the final product. But I'm glad to report that it's not that case. These are just really crunchy. And I made a couple of like tacos. When they come out of the fazelle maker, they're really soft. And then you put them on these, you know, the mats to let them harden. And if you form them into a shape, you know, you they harden this way. I think that these are super fun. And because they have such like a waffle cone kind of um, vibe to them, I want to like make these like with ice cream, like put little ice creams in here or do like cookie sandwiches and stuff like that. These are just really fine and I rate this recipe a uh, 10 out of 10. Yummy. Yeah. These are just super easy, super tasty, and they're a fun thing to bring to any holiday gathering. So I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. I really appreciate your time. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe for more recipes tested and leave a comment down below with any other suggestions that you guys have. And I will see you guys in my next video.